Howdy everyone, it's me once again, the one and only Killer Jordan. And today I thought I'll do a little video here where I'll speak about some movies, I guess. I guess to be more specific, a giant monster movie. And to be more more specific, uh, a Godzilla movie. I guess to be more, more, more specific, it's the one from the American company, Legendary. And what have you. And to be even more specific, as if it wasn't ready, in the recent film for King Kong vs. Godzilla. Or Godzilla vs. King Kong, however you want to title it. Because, unfortunately, it's been delayed even further, I guess. I mean, there was, there was already some problems to begin with for production. And it, at first, they got the film finished rather early, rather a lot faster. And then he thought at first, so just ultimately just to meet a bit more, um, I guess you can say delivery problems. So yeah, that's, that always seems to spell bad news, folks. That's often not a good sign at all. So maybe this could be a few occasions where it can actually be a good way to do it. I don't know. And yeah, that's the thing. Uh, I'm hoping it turns out to be at least uh pretty decent movie but it's just down to really question it now because of that so yeah I guess have to see how things go so yeah and then the whole thing with the coronavirus is it's affecting uh, the movie did you experience it? I said it has something to do with the coronavirus in some ways as well so yeah it's been delayed from what I heard anyway for it several months unless stated otherwise it's going to be released in november of 2020 so yeah again i'm seriously hoping it's still be a good movie anyway they still have the cast members already added of course and yeah they already did a king kong for his other film already like way long ago and honestly folks it's not a good movie it's definitely one of the weakest entries of the original series of films it, it's a terrible movie, honestly. It was a, it was a bad movie. Easily one of the worst I've seen. So I'm hoping in some ways the new movie can, uh, I guess, make up for it. I guess. I mean, I wouldn't necessarily call it a reboot, really, because I highly doubt that it's going to have anything to do with the original movie. I mean, okay, other than the fact that what you're going to have these two giant creatures duking it out. Other than that. I don't think it has nothing to do with the original film. So, I wouldn't really call it a remake because, like I said, when it comes to themes, story, plot, of characters, or what have you, it has absolutely uh, nothing to do with the original. And I highly doubt it will, folks. So, and anyway, I mean, I'll give this film a shot, I guess. Either way, I'll give the film uh, an opportunity, nonetheless. And I just seems highly doubtful that it would be any good at all because delay, delay, delay. It's already been delayed anyway. So it's going to be a sequel to Costco Island. And of course, it's going to have a connection to the 2014 Godzilla film, which already got a sequel called Godzilla King of the Monsters. So, yeah, there was that going on, folks. So I'm trying to create an expanded universe, I guess. So, and again, from what I heard, it's going to be released in November 20th of 2014. So, yeah, hoping this would, um, you know, hit theaters and make quite a bit of money. And uh, I guess you can say that this could be a warning sign, I guess, in some ways. And again, from what I heard... There was no real official reason as to why it was given the change release date. Though many people had um, stated it might be because of the fact that the disappointment box office of the film Godzilla King of the Monsters, which, yeah, like I said, didn't really do all that well. I mean, it did alright, I guess. And it did pretty decently in the home video department, so. And that's not going to be enough to save it, of course, really. But, 
The studio is wanting to rework the film before unleashing it into the public. But, yeah, I don't know if that's going to be a good idea. If you can keep tweaking it too much, that can be a bad idea. Being stuck in the development limbo is a disaster, folks. And yeah, and it proved that over and over again. Well, so many movies turn out to be not very good. Once they were saved from Delivered Limbo. And yeah, the end result would be quite questionable. And not that I'm trying to press doubt. I'm not trying to express that really. But it can be bad news overall. Another example of what I'm talking about is the film, the third installment of Bad Boys. That film was stuck in limbo for quite some time before being officially released in theaters. And now that it's on DVD and Blu-ray and 4K, I haven't heard much about it, really. Not that I'm trying to take stabs at the film because I've not seen it myself. But I'm just trying to let you know. At first, the King Kong for the result film was to be delayed for four months. And now it's eight. So, yeah, there's not even a teaser trailer or anything. I'm mean, supposedly some leaked photos, but that's about it. So, yeah, it's just word here. Anyway... As always, thanks for watching, and take care. Till next time, see ya, oh yeah.